What does an owl say? No. Give him a good owl sound. <laughs> Hajime! Happy New Year, and what a new year it is going to be. Since I made a New Year's video last week, I have way too much footage from the last two weeks, so it will randomly be thrown in through the next couple weeks. It's gonna be glorious, fantastic, fantabulous. Yep. So last week, I drove up to Fargo with my new Christmas present. We just keep driving to Fargo. We like to look at strangers with this mask on. <laughs> Just pissed. Here they come. Took a video of it. It was pretty good time. Made the drive go a lot faster. That's for sure. Vault camp. A lot of fun kids were there. It was a two-day camp. They all had like rips in their hands from vaulting so much. What'd you do to your hand? You ripped it. You ripped already too? Yeah, yesterday. You're just hardcore, man. You didn't rip yet? From gymnastics, but... Gymnastics? Better gymnastics than pole vault. Pole vault. Yes! Day two concluded and they wanted to go a third day. So on Saturday I was supposed to jump, test out my nine lefts. I've never had a bunch of kids who after two days of vaulting wanted to throw a third day in. It was sick. I had a lot of fun at that camp. I can't wait to do another one. You guys need to wear helmets if you're going to do that next time. Coach in the vault. On the back side of the pit. Oh. <laughs> I made last week my rest week, so um, I got two vault sessions in. I did a six left day. It went pretty well. Uh, I was blowing through poles again, just trying to fix that stupid turn again. But uh, yeah, six just still feels kind of funky, and the more I do it, the better it's starting to feel, so I'm excited for that. And then I tried nine lefts, which was my full approach, and I did eight last year because nine just wasn't working, but uh, it took three jumps. Uh, got the and nine worked, and it worked really well. A lot taller, but same placement. As soon as my run starts feeling comfortable again, I think I'll be able to attack it, not be like, and then you're in the pit and the vault's over. So I'm pumped, and I'm gonna try that again on Tuesday and see how that goes. Just putting some good height on. Bungee, which doesn't mean anything, but it uh, the standards were deep. So if I pulled the standards in, I'd like to think it will go down pretty early this year. I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Um, I started my new training cycle last Sunday, so I did weights with Joseph Breedall. My workout buddy today, Joe. Don't call me buddy guy. <laughs> Don't call me guy, friend. Joe's a squat machine, and I am not. And I tried to stay with Joe, and he made it look easy, and I couldn't walk for three days. Oh, uh, lesson learned. Then on Tuesday, no, Monday. Monday I did a sled workout. <laughs> with Gizmo, Kyle's little dog. And I almost took him out with the sled. <laughs> you bitch. I didn't go as far as I wanted to for Team Who. Team Batman. Traitor. Ben, on the Batman shoulders. has the cape, right? <laughs> Workouts gotta be fun, or what's the point, right? <laughs> I'm going Batman on the fun.
<laughs> that man didn't do it, I got sick of team hoops. Get away. But that was fun, and it felt really fast again. It felt great, I'm feeling really well. And I did a tread workout. I tread workouts. Back doing the old treadmill workout. They're not fun, but um, I feel so fast when I get off of it, even if I've been running for two hours. So the tread workout went good. It went way better than the first time I did it. It's getting hard. Either I'm faster, or I'm doing the treadmills the way they're supposed to be done, finally. 30 degree incline. 30 degrees gradient. 15 degree incline. At 11 miles per hour. I love and hate the treadmills, but I'm excited to see what happens. And then on Friday, I was going to do uh, my full approach one more time before my next meet with uh, Caroline and Steve White, but after that treadmill workout and sleds and weights, my body was like, No! No! I don't want to run that far! No! I still had four lefts, which was awesome because Caroline was there, who is phenomenal, and then her husband Steve was there, also just... Fantabulous. I had the dream team, Steve and Caroline White. It was fun because they they both see the same thing, but they explain it differently. And so they're kind of like <laughs> bickering at each other a little bit. And I'm stuck in the middle because I caused the whole thing because my vault looks weird. But anyways, um, yeah, we've started to figure out my swing. Um, it's not pretty yet, but I, I believe it will be. My two cues are is I need to keep watching my right hand on my right hip. And that kept my right knee really tight and straight through the pole and then I need to kick my right over my left which initiates my turn so those are my two cues and I could do one at a time I could either look at my right hand or I could kick my right foot but I couldn't do them at the same time yet I'm excited for when I can tie those two together so yeah it was a good day and then on Tuesday I'm gonna try and get back to bowls again before I do the meet on Saturday so I got that meet this weekend. First meet, my only goal is to get my full approach on and consistent. Probably start around five meters or 520. Because once my run's consistent, the bars will come. If you build it, bars will come. Yeah, I stole that from Feel the Dreams, but it works for the pull off. Oh yeah, like always, please subscribe, like these, comment, and if you see any errors, please let me know. I am a terrible proofreader. Have a good one. See you next week, I'll let you know how the meet goes. stuff because I get a lot of comments from people even when I'm walking down the street like at NDSU people want to see the random weird stuff <laughs> so my parents just got a bunch of new flooring on the ground there is absolutely nothing in here so since this will never happen again I told my mom she's got to lay on the ground and try and shoot as far as she can go. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, right? Okay, with my hand, look out, kids. Ready? Use your hands. Oh, <laughs> 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 you the dog. oh yeah. Well, there's Rufus, look out. <laughs> Rope One, two, three. <laughs> That was pretty good. Damn, I feel like a woman. Carrie surprised me for uh, New Year's, which was awesome. She drove all the way up to Fargo just to spend New Year's with me. She dressed up in a bunch of <laughs> Kyle's clothes. You're on video and do something cool. <laughs> She's gonna kill me for throwing that in there. I forgot to tell you, I got to pull staples out of Carrie's brother's head. For the first one first. Ready? Mm-hmm. Um. Is that all of it? <laughs> Usually you, uh, you clip it first and then lift up. Uh, you don't just pull. I just yanked it. Dude. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> this is so nerve-wracking right now. I feel that one. That was your hair. Oh, shit. Oh. You got all sorts of dead garbage. <laughs> I felt that one. <laughs> hey, wait, what are you doing now? Getting the one I couldn't get? Yeah. God damn it. You just go under it. 
clip. Really? I'm just too nice, dude. Oh, that no blood. blood. Who, ma who made you bleed? No, My it was Carrie blood. made me bleed. Who did not make you bleed? Who got it out on their first try? So I loosened it up for you. I think the score was four staples to one. Four to one. Sean. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> if we're not putting them back in. Alright, the first one I didn't use the scissors the way I was supposed to. Can you guess what one is mine? <laughs> oh, there's some blood on it. That one. It's hilarious to me, and that's why I make these vlogs for my entertainment only.